Hey guys, this is gonna be my next project and I'm starting to work on it today. I did the unboxing review of that kit, but I'm gonna do another one just because I unpacked everything and I'm gonna show you the detailing of that thing. So bear with me to see what's inside the box. It's a smart kit from 2011. It has DS tires and magic tracks. It has windows. It has masks, which is the first I see in Dragon Ball. And it has photo edge meshes. This thing aside, I'm going to show you the sprues. As you can see, the detail is very nice. It's clean, crisp, typical Dragon. Unfortunately, what we see last year's with Dragon is different from what we are seeing today with that kit because they tend to make cheaper kits nowadays. So hopefully that will change. Here we have the texture, wonderful, as you can see. Parts are very clean, nice molding. As you can see, this is the leather here. It's amazingly done here too. The texture, I hope that you're able to see that. Let's see another sprue. We have the bullets. This is the flag gun. We have handles and wheels and everything we have teeth here two equal screws i'm going to show you only one of them those are the wheels the suspension parts handles which eventually would not sustain my interference but i'm going to make substitutes from thin wire if i break them or do something unpleasant not on purpose, of course. So, more parts on the suspension. Mufflers. We have additional parts here. As I said, decals. You can choose from different numbers to create own license plate, which is nice. So as I said, I did the unboxing review of that thing, but I'm showing you the details in detail because they are extremely nice. Once I opened the kit, I was amazed what I saw. Here we have the engine, which from what I know, it's not visible. However, I'm going to try and figure something out to make it look, uh, to, to make it available actually. We have very nice texture here, uh, seen gross something i don't know something german so as you can see this is a wonderful kit so let's take a look at the instruction next next we have the instructions typical dragon as you can see blue parts are those that we're not going to use in the kit as i told you we have combination of uh, ds tires and magic tracks which is wonderful so instructions seems to be clear but i assume there are going to be some errors and we have the tracks i'm going to try and build those separately and place them at the end which i assume will be very difficult job this thing here is the flag. It's got to be painted in several colors. The main gun got to be gun metal. The rest got to be in camouflage color, which will cause a lot of trouble. But I think I will be able to handle it. So on the other hand, we have more. But anyway, let's see the camouflage schemes. As I mentioned, we have masks, something that we didn't have in previous, I didn't seen in, in previous Dragon Kit. So we have single tone camouflage, two tone and three tone 
and I'm gonna be picking some of those too. I'm not sure which I'm gonna choose when I start the building. So I wanted to show you what's inside of the box just before the build. I'm gonna do a follow-up of this build and I hope you'll stick with me up until the end of it. I assume it will take month, maybe month and a half. We'll see because I'll be busy visiting shows and doing other projects, but this is the start of it. So let's get on with it. So here we are, just finished step six, which includes the chassis, the engine, which you saw in the picture, pictures actually, and the uh, chassis, the bottom part. You have great amount of detail, which is useless because this won't be visible unless you tear the truck apart or leave it with the glass bottom. None of those will happen with my project so I just spend the time to have a little more fun. However, this part here, it has those amount of parts which was a hassle because some of them are pretty tedious. Some people enjoy that, I really find it to be annoying because this won't be visible once more. So here we have, as you can see, this should be this should be fixed. It should be filled with putty and so on. But I won't do that because this is gonna be the bottom and I can always cover that with Martin. You know the regular techniques used from armor modelers. So, here the tricky part was to fix all those things with the spare tire. I fixed the sprockets or whatever the name is. The tank, unfortunately we're not going to be able to see any of those. I will try to make the engine visible because it's nice and we'll see how that will go. So next next we have this which we're not gonna use now we're gonna put those last or just to show off before priming and then we begin to place the fenders in the hood which will be featured in the second part of the video. So far we have done like one third of the kit. So in three parts we should be able to finish it. It took me two days, but actually those were long two days, like uh, three hours at least per day which I'm not used to. For that amount of time, I usually am finished with one of the Tamiya kits. But anyway, it's a different approach from Dragon and you all know that. So let's see what will happen in the next few steps. So far for me and see you in the next one. 